Hello. In this video, we're going to go through the video that you recorded speaking about a topic that we've chosen. And I'm going to give you my corrections, my tips for improving your presentation and speaking skills, and maybe some advice on how you can correct yourself in the following recordings. So let's get started. Hi. Hello. I'll talk today about one of the great things that happened to me. Uh, for today, I will highlight my movement from Serbia to US. It was happened on... You will highlight your move, right? I'm not sure if I heard that correctly. Let me hear it one more time. My movement from Serbia to US. It... Mm -hmm. Movement, you said. Move is fine or relocation is a little bit more clear, but generally it's fine. It was happened on uh, 2019. Okay, so you said it was happened. Do we need that was? We can say it happened. And you also said on 2019. Let's hear that again. 2019. Mm -hmm, 2019. Okay. It was happened on the 2019. Mm -hmm. We can say on when we talk about dates. For example, on the 12th of March. 2019. However, if you only have a year, which preposition are you going to use? That's right, in. So it happened in 2019. All right, let's move on. Due to my uh, wife business project she had uh, in US, actually in California. Good for her. Uh, the company where she did that project um, uh, accepted to pay uh, her transfer and mine as well with her. And we decided to live one year in US. Mm -hmm. We can say in the US. Which states? The United States. That's why we have that the, because we are making it more specific. Um, in that period of time, I had uh, enough free time to do whatever I want because I... Uh... Mm -hmm. You said in that period, in the past, right? I had enough time to do whatever I want. Do we say I want if you're talking about the past? That's right, we say wanted. Good, let's move on. I had uh, um, some kind of um, unpaid leave in my company. And because of that, I didn't work anything which is uh, connected with my previous job. Mm -hmm. Do we say I didn't work anything? Or we use a different verb. I didn't do anything. And now, because you're talking about the past, pay attention to the verb. You said, I didn't do anything which is connected to my previous job. That's right, we will use was. All right, moving on. I had uh, all time of, in the, of this uh, world to uh, do some private thing which I liked. Actually, I was some kind of travel guide for me and my wife. I was investigating what are the best places to visit in California. I was, my duty was to find uh, the best home for us, uh, best car and all other cool things which uh, were covered by uh, the company. Amazing. I would just like to go back a little bit and uh, pay attention to your sentence or question structure. Let's just go back for so, a bit. I'll do some private thing which I liked. Actually, I was some kind of travel guide for me and my wife. I was investigating what are the best places to visit. In. Mm -hmm, here. So you said, I was investigating what are the best places to visit. What are the best places to visit is a question structure. But now as you're starting your sentence as a sentence, I was investigating, you need to use a sentence structure. Subject, verb, object. So how do we say this? Pause the video if you need to think. We will say... I. I was investigating what some of the things to visit were. Now, if we keep your tense, we can say are, but as you're talking about the past, we will use the past tense and say, I was investigating what, what some of the places to visit 
were or what some of the things to see were. All right, moving on. Period of time we visited San Francisco, LA, San Diego, a lot of great beaches, great places uh, all uh, and all around uh, California. Amazing In March experience. 2020, uh, corona happened to, to all world and to us as well. In that period... To the whole world or to the whole of the world. You could also say to all the world. I'm not sure how you said it. Let's repeat. To, to all world and mm -hmm. to us as well. In that period... Um, was some kind of um, lockdown in uh, California. And... Mm -hmm. In that period, mm, was some kind of a lockdown. What word is missing? The, the place where I put mm, in that period, mm, was some kind of a lockdown. There was some kind of a lockdown. That's right. We're going to use there is, there are, there was, there were. In this case, there was because we use this there for the existence of something. Existential, there is the name. Good job. Because of that, my wife started to work from uh, our apartment. Mm -hmm. But uh, her company didn't... Uh, uh, didn't uh, put the pressure on her to work from the California. And because of that, uh, I decided to find a more flexible place in US, uh, which will be much better for us. And I was investigating where the best beach is. Uh, you were finding the a more flexible place, which would be better for you. We will here use would instead of will, because you are talking about the future, yes, but from a past point of view. That's why when you are talking about the future from the past point, you're going to use would instead of will. I hope this is clear. In US and found uh, on Florida, Tampa Bay, Clearwater Beach. Considering that uh, her company doesn't have problem uh, uh, they didn't have a problem uh, to Florida because uh, mm -hmm. the company didn't have a problem with something with you moving to Florida. Um, the life expenses were almost the same. Nice. Uh, I can say cheaper uh, in Florida than in California. Mm -hmm. And she the the life expenses were not cheaper, but they were lower. Expenses and prices can be high or low, higher or lower. Products, things, services can be cheap or expensive, although I would still avoid using the word cheap because it has the layer of meaning, low quality, but you want to say lower price. So stick with a more positive option as well. It was in the almost the same time zone as California is. And because of that, um, we decided to move to Clearwater. Uh, and in that period, uh, I think that uh, I have a dream life because... Um, mm -hmm. we... In that period, I think I have a dream life. Do we say have if it happened in the past? That's right. We will put it into the past and say, had a dream life. Okay. We lived on the beach in very nice Amazing. hotel with very good car. And mm -hmm. Pay attention to your prepositions. Actually, these are not prepositions, my mistake, to articles. We lived in a very nice hotel. We had a very nice car. By the way, also check the pronunciation of the word hotel. We put the stress on the second syllable. So one more time, hotel, hotel. Good job. I had enough time in my life to do whatever I want. Uh -huh. really Again, Again, pay attention to the past tense. We're going to say, I had enough time to do whatever I not want, but wanted. There you go. Because we spent in clear, clear water up. Almost two months, and we managed to visit uh, all. Mm, pay attention to the sentence structure and the word order in your sentence. We spent some time in some place. Try to say your sentence one more time. I will go back. You in can my listen. I have to do whatever I want. 
it was a really great experience because we spent in clear, clear water almost two months. So instead of saying we spent in clear water almost two months, reorder it and say, okay, I think you've got it. We spent almost two months in clear water. Nice work. And we managed to visit uh, all uh, beauties and natures all around uh, Florida and uh, Tampa Bay. That's it for today. I really hope that I managed to transfer one of the, my greatest experience. In... Mm -hmm. We're going to say one of my or one one of my greatest experiences or one of the greatest experiences I've had. Um, if you're going to use my, you don't need the and the opposite. If you're going to use the, you don't need my. In uh, my life. Bye. Thank you so much for this presentation and for speaking about uh, the greatest moments and a great, one of the greatest memories in your life. It was a really nice presentation. You kept it clear and cohesive. You stuck to the point and the point, if I understand correctly, and I think I do, is that you enjoyed with your wife, you were able to go to a different place, you lived at the beach, you had almost all of your expenses covered, and you had enough free time to do what you wanted to spend your time on. Very, very nice. Thank you for sharing that with me and the people who are going to see this video. And thank you for your permission to share this uh, with the people who might want this kind of a task as well. Pay attention to the corrections that I gave you. So remember when you're talking about the past, use the past tense. Remember when we talk about the future from a past point of view, we use would instead of will. The pronunciation was generally good, but let's repeat two words. Experience with the in the end. Experience and hotel. Hotel. Good job. Generally, I am very satisfied. Keep up the good work and I look forward to the next task. Bye.